Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So um, I'm doing a little bit more clearing on the land. I'm trying to get this area kind of flat, uh, make it into kind of a pasture. And uh, once in a while, especially in the Ozarks, you run into something like this. This particular rock is about uh, eight feet long, probably weighs uh, a ton or two. Um, pretty darn big. And even a, even a one and a half ton truck is not gonna be able to pull this out of the ground. And so I wanna to talk to you guys about the number one piece of equipment, machinery that you might consider uh, when living here in the Ozarks. Um, just to let you guys know, I mean, I used to uh, bale hay and I had a, a tractor and, and haying equipment and um, all of that was sold over the years. Why? Because I find it um, that it wasn't useful and it didn't really get the job that I needed done. Um, you know, a tractor just wasn't big enough or maneuverable enough, or even with the backhoe, couldn't do this, which is dig. And so, yeah, I want to talk to you about that right now. Um, we, uh, we have rocks like this in the Ozarks, uh, and to be able to clear this out and make it into grazable pasture or flat kind of pasture area, I got to remove rocks. And sometimes you move remove rocks like this. And this particular rock, I'm not gonna remove. What I did was basically trench around it and I'm digging it out as I move it um, back into the ground. And right here in the Ozark, sometimes you'll get, you know, as much as maybe, um, uh, as much as like eight feet uh, be before you hit kind of that bedrock material. And uh, here in this area where I am on my land, because I live on a mountaintop, um, I have as little as 12 inches, and in this particular case, I have about, oh, let's say four feet before I hit bedrock. But what I need to do is make this rock go away, and I really can't make it go away without burying it underneath, and that's what I'm doing. And so this is what I would recommend for, for uh, the guys who have um, uh, the means to be able to buy a piece of equipment like this and this is a little mini excavator and the reason why a mini excavator versus a regular size well it's just portability right I mean you can still do this with a you can still transport it with a double axle trailer and a, and a one and a half ton truck but obviously uh, anything bigger than that you won't be able to do it the other thing is I would highly recommend getting an opposable thumb like that, be able to grapple the things that you're working with. Now, even this particular uh, mini excavator is underpowered for this kind of a boulder, but I can move it around and bury it. And that's what I'm doing here. And so uh, the other great thing about this is, you know, in living off grid, living on, um, on you know, soil, uh, the wetness, the grass, and over time erosion from track, tracking over it with vehicles and machinery, uh, you have to repair the road. And so in that sense, this little bucket does a, a blade does a decent job. It doesn't do a great job because it can't articulate, but it can get it done. And so uh, my recommendation is in lieu of a tractor or a skid steer, get yourself a mini excavator for, um, for, for your off-grid applications here in the Ozarks just because you can do so much with it. And the ability to dig is just huge. Uh, really, that's, uh, that's what it comes down to for me. Um, and that way now I'll be able to sink this uh, big old boulder down into the ground. Now then I'll have a nice flat surface to be able to mow through versus every time going around this big old boulder or a big old boulder like this, this one. Alrighty, shalom.